is Robert. Um, happy to be back with another Loot Crate to unbox for you guys today. Again, a little bit late, but I think we got the uh, shipping issues worked out, so it should be good from now on. As always, if you'd like to buy Loot Crate, please do so by going to lootcrate.com slash whisperloot and I'm going to go ahead and put a link to a giveaway in the description. My goodness, so more going on upstairs. Anyways, um, so you can sign up for that. It's a really nice giveaway hosted by Loot Crate. And if you decide to subscribe for yourself, use the coupon code WHISPERLOOT and you'll get a nice little discount there. So let's break into this one. I hope the camera angle is okay. I was having a little bit of technical problems today and I decided to just go for it. So we shall see. <laughs> okay, so this one is the space themed one. Um, let me see what they're calling it. I'll pull out the book here. See alien and Star Wars thingy. Pretty cool little theme there. Let's get into the items. I see one right off the bat that I recognize. This is a triple. <laughs> triple, please do not feed. This is from old school. Um, Star Trek. I am not a Trekkie, um, and I'm not too big on the uh, newer Star Treks. Um, not that I don't enjoy them, I just don't know much about them, but I did watch a lot of the original series. Um, I used to watch it a lot when I went to sleep, because I found the sounds of the ship to be really relaxing, and uh, I would just always watch it when I went to sleep for some reason, so... I do recognize this. It's pretty fun. I kind of want to just throw them at people. Like, let's, uh... Open them up. It's a soft plush. The hair is like troll doll hair. It's got a little... Squishy ball inside. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should just give this to my dog. She'd probably freak out on it. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> okay, so that's the triple. It comes in a cool little tin here. Look pretty exclusive. And it's got the little vents and stuff. Like it's its cage. Of reach of Klingons. So silly. He's <laughs> going back in his cage for now. Alright, next up we have this is science fiction vinyl figure. So looks like it could be from a variety of different franchises. I see some Lost in Space, I see some Alien, Predator, E.T., Robocop, yeah, Robocop. I don't know what, I don't know what everything else is supposed to be. It kind of like Judge Dredd, Mars Attacks, I'm not exactly sure, but... Yeah, that was Mars Attacks. On Rocketeer, Forbidden Planet. So let's see what I got in this one. Oh. 
they make these things so obvious when you open them. Like they could easily make these like more incognito, but I think they intentionally make them sealed clearly. This is the one that I didn't recognize. Is he from? I do not know. Oh, Firefly, right? Is that what he's from? Yeah, I think that's Firefly. If I'm wrong, somebody will bitch at me, I'm sure. There's only so much science fiction I can drill into my brain, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I do believe, now that I think about it, that's what this is from. Okay. Got a little magnet here. This is pretty cool. It's um, asteroids themed, but these are all Star Wars. Um, like chips and stuff. I see the TIE Fighter, the Royal TIE Fighter, this little dude coming out of the asteroid, Millennium Falcon, Star Destroyer. That's kind of fun. I like that. That'll go in the fridge. <laughs> These are hilarious. So this is alien ash action figure but it's reaction figure so it's like a re make of the old 80s style action figures and they even make it look like that so they make it <laughs> more cheaply it's actually pretty like accurate looking i've seen um some of these figures before and it's pretty spot on Yeah, I forget what the brand is, but they like kind of copy the logo there. I used to have a lot of the old um, Star Wars figures from this era. Nice. I'll keep him boxed up. It's kind of weird. It's like, is it a collector's item? Is somebody gonna go on Pawn Stars? Or whatever the equivalent is in like 40 years and be like I have this classic figure from the 1980s the old 1980s and then they're gonna be like sorry buddy you got duped this is from the 2000s I don't know I'm totally rambling okay we have some money of some kind, galactic credits or something, not exactly sure what these are from, I'm sure it'll say in the book so I'll look that up, but they're all the same, um, there's, well they're not, there's 100s and 500s, it's got this little fat stack of 10 G's right here, hold on to that just in case I need to buy anything. Halo comic. Um, I'm not going to read it, so here's the uh, code VDLX2TF6X8. So whoever gets to it first, go for it. This is savings. We got some blue raz pop rocks. I guess these are kind of thematic. They're kind of 
science fiction, 80s-ish. Those are delicious. I will hold off on finishing those though. Okay, looks like we just got a couple things left. Our monthly loot crate commemorative pin it says September 2014 Galactic and it has the Alien Star Wars mashup that was on the Inside of this box, looks like scene from Star Wars. See the little R2 unit in the background. They've been doing really cool stuff with the inside of the boxes. Let's see what this is. Looks like it's probably a poster. Is a Han Solo and Carbonite poster. Maybe I'll put this up in my office. I already have a Yoda in there, so it'll fit. Okay, so that's the loot crate. Let me take a peek at the booklet. Wherever I put it. Uh, I want to see what this money is from. Brown Cat's Guide to Firefly. Whoa, that was my stomach. I don't feel like editing that out, so you can just laugh. Um, I should probably read this. You got a star maze. This one's a mega crate. That's cool. Borg fridge. Pistol replica. And a GoPro. Okay, that was right. Good, I'm not completely stupid. And then the uh, money is also from Firefly. So whether it's credits or platinum, you've got to have money to get around in Firefly's Union of Valley planets. Maybe you need medicine or perhaps you need to be by passage on a hunk of junk ship with a ragtag crew. Cool. Alright, well... That was uh, the Galactic Loot Crate. Lots of good stuff in this one. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which your favorite stuff in this was. Or if there's anything that you guys need to correct me on. <laughs> See you later.